in the Biden administration, we've got six that we know of, 6,000 illegal immigrants crossing the border every 24 hours. <gasps> that we know of, yeah, that we know of, we've had 6 million illegals allowed into America under the Biden administration, uh, under this asylum banner that is a, a, a falsehood. My, my parents were asylum seekers. Why? Because my dad escaped from a communist prison. And to be an asylum seeker, you have to demonstrate that if you were forced to go back home, you would be killed because of your political, religious, or ethnic identity. These people are just economic migrants. Mm. And the worst thing of all, just the sheer cynicism for my, my TV show on Newsmax, I decided to do a calculation. You know, my background is national security. Mm. And on the back of an envelope, I worked out how many people have died in uniform fighting for America since the end of World War II. So that means Korea, Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq. Just add them all up, 70 years of conflict. And I did the math and it was 103,000 servicemen and women in 70 years. Mm. Then I went to Biden's CDC, to the Centers for Disease Control website. And it wasn't easy to find because they hide it, but I found the statistics for how many people died as a result of Biden's open borders from fentanyl and illicit drugs being uh, smuggled into America. In the first 12 months of his administration, 110,000 people were murdered by fentanyl and drugs smuggled into the country. So, so we have to internalize this. 103,000 in 70 years, more, 110,000, died because they opened the border. And at the same time, women are being raped, children are being raped. Why? And this is where the darkness, this is where the dark heart of these people is demonstrated the most clearly. Because they are such unreconstituted atavistic bigots mm. that they think if you are black skinned from Africa or brown skinned from our hemisphere, you will vote Democrat after you are amnestied. The, the Democrats are such bigoted, fascistic racists. They think, ah, oh, skin pallor is dark, therefore you will vote for us. That's the reason they're doing it. So yeah, this, this is, this is where we're at right now. And, and if you look at gun control policy, whether it's New Mexico, you look at their attempt to stuff, they want to stuff the court, the Supreme Court. They want to lower, Nancy Pelosi has talked about lowering the voting age to 16. What is this about? This isn't about liberty. This is about grasping onto and maintaining power. A disarmed population aren't citizens. Mm -hmm. They are subjects. That's the difference. So sadly, and look, I, I don't want to paint the devil on the wall, but when you have former Secret Service agents like Dan Bongino, who were on, was on my show today, when you have Democrats like Alan Dershowitz, who was on my show two weeks ago, talk openly about the Democrat, the threat of the left trying to kill the 45th president, these aren't bomb throwers. These aren't insane. You know, this isn't Alex Jones Looney Tunes. Mm. This is a former Secret Service agent and an emeritus left wing professor from Harvard saying, you know what? They hate him so much. Anything's possible.